Welcome to the Intuitive Hour with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Intuitive Hour, Awaken Your Inner Voice. It's always a pleasure to have you with me. Today, we're moving forward in my book, Take the Leap, What It Really Means to Be Psychic. I want to talk with you briefly about sensibilities, otherwise known as our clair abilities, and altered states of consciousness. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines altered states of consciousness as a medical term meaning any of the various states of awareness, sleep, dreams, drug-induced hallucinogenic states, or a trance that deviates from and is usually clearly demarcated from ordinary waking consciousness. However, There are other definitions of this term, and those definitions come from the psychic experience. Psychics believe it's impossible to reduce the idea of consciousness to the confines of an intellectual awareness of the physical world. Mystics and seers the world over have spoken of otherworldly states of consciousness for hundreds of centuries. Normal consciousness is earthbound, and is only normal in the sense that it's well-known. This normal form of consciousness is neither good nor bad. It just is. Our current understanding of consciousness is rigid and fails to give recognition to the conscious experiences outside the definition of normal. Such experiences are considered fake abnormal, or unnatural. One such altered state is the trance. Mediums often experience a disassociative condition, a trance-like state of consciousness, when they're communicating with spirits. Hypnosis is another form of conscious state not fitting in normal definitions. Another is the drug-induced state used by shamans or medicine men and women for obtaining information, relating events, or diagnosing illnesses and suggesting cures. Yoga and Zen practitioners believe that all meditative traditions are associated with the development of paranormal powers. We can even go so far as to say that night dreams are actually an altered state of consciousness to which we give little credit. Precognition comes as the result of an altered state of consciousness. Night dreams, hypnosis, and meditation are all methods frequently used by psychics. Messages are transmitted through dreams, focused contemplation, and other ESP functions. These altered states are made possible by deliberating, quieting the body, mind, and senses. Doing so opens the psychic to images, thoughts, and feelings not common to others. Seemingly abnormal states of consciousness ignore the internal and external distractions apparent in normal states of consciousness. Psychic impressions bombarded by sensory noise and mental distractions prevent the kind of altered states of consciousness possible when distractions don't intervene. In other words, the world is reluctant to recognize other altered states of consciousness, but psychic practitioners have accepted, honored, and used them to reach beyond the physical world. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour with Michelle Beltran. If you like what you heard, please share our podcast with a friend and be sure to visit michellebeltran.com to get Michelle's popular Develop Your Clairvoyance ebook.